unboxing in the world. This is a gigantic box. I'm assuming this is stuff for the Dice Tower Library. So big I can barely get it on screen, but let's see what's in here. Uh, these are more Dice Tower bags. This is the Deep Space bag from Deep Canopy. Wow, quite a few of these bags in here. So we'll be taking a look at these bags in the upcoming days. Neat. We'll probably have a contest to win some of them also. A smaller box, but certainly not small by any means. Uh, so it's very interesting. We started off with these gigantic boxes. Ah, stuff for the library again. Here we go. Project Elite. Yay. I've been wanting to see the new Project Elite, obviously. Starcadia Quest for the Dice Tower Library. Munchkin Dungeon. And then this small little game here. Modern Art. Oh, this is Modern Art, the card game. Huh. That is indeed Modern Art. Alrighty, let's take a look and see what's inside of this. Priority Mail, they said. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Mariposas. You know what? I'm so excited about this one. By the time this video goes live, you probably have already seen the review. <laughs> this is going to the table as soon as possible. Fantastic. I got to say, it's going to be hard to top what we've seen thus far in this video. But who knows? This one, I am pretty sure, is a Kickstarter. Indeed it is. It's the new expansion for Dinogenics Controlled Chaos. Man, this just keeps getting better and better. I'm starting to think I might have to take the word boring off of this. Alrighty, now we're back down to small boxes. Let's see what's in this one here. Oh, I am excited about this one. Super Skill Pinball 4K. This is the Roll and Write Pinball game from Jeff Engelstein. I like the cover. I like how it looks. I love pinball. I'm hoping this is good. Come on, come on, come on. All right, this one says fragile. So, of course, we'll just rip it open with a knife. Wow, they really put the plastic wrap on this one. All right, good. Looks like once I'm done here, that should be enough, I think. Let's see. Nope. Gonna have to get the side here. I'm trying not to destroy the, the game inside. Man, I don't know which is, I guess it's better to have a, a game that is packaged better than not. Alrighty, well I'm not recognizing this game from the, looks like it starts with a rotisserie, or no, Rocio. Rotisserie is a good theme for a game. Rocio, that's a nice cover for sure. And then AFE, yeah, okay. Huh, well it looks like some sort of abstract game. Cool. All right, let's see what's in this one. It's a small game. So small is good, right? The Secret Neighbor Party Game. Na 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 na. Shh. Arcane Wonder is looking forward to this one. Huh. This one's gonna be a tough one to get played. Uh, five to ten players, but maybe I can play it with my family. We'll have to see. We continue on with another envelope with an envelope inside and then inside that envelope another envelope no about truffle shuffle these are from the folks who made point salad oh I already like it I already like how it looks hoo 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 I'm playing this one as soon as possible yay this next box is extremely long, which is weird because either the game's long or they, I don't know. So, oh, yay. It's, you can see Title Blades and the expansion. 
Wow, the game is long. wonder why they made it so long. It's going to be a pain to put on the shelf. But it looks cool. I, we played this last year live on the Dice Tower, so very excited. I really enjoyed that playthrough, so looking forward to this one a lot. All right, let's see what's in this one here. Nice size box. And it's a game called Big Monster. Looks like some sort of domino style game. All righty. A game I can play with my kids, hopefully. Neat. This box is essentially a cube, and it's quite heavy, so I'm very curious to see what's in it. Oh, it's Warhammer, or Games Workshop stuff. We have Crypt Hunters. Find the relic, banish the ghost, save the city. All right, it's a labyrinth building game for two players. All right, cool. Blitz Bowl, season two. <laughs> wow. That's like a first for us, a seal of excellence on a on a games workshop game. Man, that's cool. Um, alrighty. And that's from Sam, of course. And then Rise of the Orcs. The Cooperative Heroic Defense Board Game. Huh. I've not heard of any of these, actually. I wonder who the designer of this one is. Alrighty, cool. Alright, let's take a look. This one is a longer box. This one's from GMT. Space Empires. The 2020 version of it. The fourth printing. And then also, Beneath the Med. A submarine style game. Is this a solo game? It looks like a solo game, but I don't know if it is or not. Maybe it's not. Where does it say players on here? Oh, there it is. Players 1. Alrighty. I believe this one's calling Liz's name. And here we have a pretty big box. The Q box. The box that you're like, ooh, what could be inside this? That's exciting to find out. Here we go. They drew first blood. It's Rambo. Along with, apparently, I can uh, wear this. Alrighty, Rambo the Board Game Trilogy. Everything Epic makes all their boxes guy. So there you go. Well, what an unboxing. Really got to say that the boring part is starting to feel fairly redundant, but it's the truth. Folks, thanks so much for watching the most boring unboxings in the world. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you all next time.